I think this has got to be the best view of all of the tower. There we see the original tower, the keep, started by William the First, very Norman in its um, construction. The central keep with the walls built uh, outside and added to it um, in the late 13th century above all. And um, it's absolutely typical of Norman construction. Not incidentally the most powerful castle in uh, in the British Isles. There are castles which possibly were even strong, more strongly uh, protected, particularly those in Wales, which was occupied by Edward uh, and built in the late 13th century. This is the um, highest point of castle building, where castles could still be, just before gunpowder came out, which gunpowder actually rendered straight wall up like this as being useless and uh, later castles the castles of course are still built today uh, but they take a totally different form ah. so I'll walk along the wharf and part of this wharf uh, was built uh, to allow ships to dock and uh, this, this actually the construction started around in the 13th century the river was, of course, on the other side, took part of the moat up, and it was expanded and expanded until, uh, I think it was in the 19th century, when it was completely cut off. And then this one is very British, the ice cream van. You see so many of these days now. And then there's a child, you hear them, they went around the housing estates with their, their, their tinkling horn, and you know if you're going to eat, if you get an ice cream, you followed by a pile of kids. Now recently there's a tour around the Kremlin, so this is my answer from London on the same subject. There's the Cradle Tower, and we see this is built when 1341 to 1355. It's later than uh, a lot of the other parts of the wall, built by Edward III. And this was his private entrance. He didn't want to come in with the riffraff, and he wanted to get in straight from the river, because this wharf was here actually built much, much, much later. And uh, now, one of the things that happened with this, this also ended up sort of a Traitor's Gate as well, because prisoners were brought in here as well as through Traitor's Gate, which is down there. One of the prisoners here uh, did get in this way. It was a person called uh, John Gerard. He was, he was, a, he was a priest and he, uh, he escaped from this roof in 1598 even though he'd actually been tortured so look at that, quite, a, quite clever and he got, he got, uh, got down using a, a rope and he got away 